I'm Matt Baker. I'm the Director of Strategy and Partnering for Antibodies and Immunoassays for Thermo Fisher Scientific. You know, with Thermo Fisher, and I think we'll maybe get into this, we're trying to not only tackle reproducibility, but also that specificity question at the same time. Um, but the way that we're really trying to look at this is reproducibility, applications, validation, and then the, the final piece that I mentioned is specificity validation. So I think the community is, has uh, definitely identified that there's a need and a want as more and more of the uh, biology is understood to have more consistent, better performing, uh, more thoroughly validated specificity confirmed antibodies. There's so many new targets that people have been studying, right, in the explosion of those number of targets. I think it's the rigor in which things are really validated. And I think that's where the community is really sort of galvanizing and saying, look, it's perhaps not enough just to have a single band in a Western blot. Maybe there needs to be additional uh, validation that goes into that. Maybe you need to do these, some of these new techniques to confirm specificity, like using genetic modulation, sRNA knockout. Uh, those types of techniques um, using IP mass spec uh, to confirm definitively that that antibody is defining your target of interest. At Thermo Fisher, we're really focusing a lot on transparency as, as being a real key for us. And I think we've come out with a, uh, again, talking to the researchers, with a very firm conclusion that they do want to see that additional data, but they also just want to see that transparency. They want to see exactly how the antibody works and perhaps how it did not work. I mean, it's going to take the research community, it's going to take publishers, funders, everybody, because we have to know what are the best practices. We have to be able to mobilize our resources and really move towards that goal. And we are also taking um, uh, genetic approaches, which I alluded to earlier. Uh, we're doing a lot of sRNA. Um, we've got the benefit in our organization that we have whole sRNA libraries. Um, we're also doing knockout. Uh, we, so we've also got the benefit that we have some colleagues that are um, very, very uh, skilled creating knockout lines. We're also doing orthogonal uh, methods that are again, also referred to in the IWGAV paper. And then we're doing things like independent antibodies. Uh, so where there's not a direct uh, genetic perhaps approach or orthogonal approach you can take, um, looking at independent antibodies to simply build statistical evidence. And I think at the end of the day, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful though, again, that we'll end up with a, something that's very highly impactful and moves everything forward, moves science forward, and is also uh, implementable. <laughs>